Welcome back, boys and girls. And for most hunters, the worst portion of venison is the shank. Now, this is elk shank, so it's even worse. It's got a lot of fibrous tissue, and the meat is really tough, and it's even hard to chew on them. But what if I tell you we could make this tough meat into most delicious and most useful meal of the day? First, we're gonna boil hot water in a big pot, and we're gonna first put all the shanks and then boil it just for a short time and then we're gonna clean out the shank and then transfer it into another crock pot and then slow cook it for a long time. We use cast iron pot. Okay, this has been boiled out. We're gonna throw all the water away and then we're gonna clean it with cold water because you wanna get all the blood taken out and then thrown away so that you don't have the gamey taste. So we're gonna put all the meat in here now. Make sure all the meats get submerged. That was eight pounds of shanks. And we're gonna put two cloves of a whole garlic and about five cinnamon sticks and some slices of ginger and five bay leaves. But you could do it as you like. Now, since we're gonna slow cook this, you wanna do it outside, otherwise you're gonna stink up the house. And you wanna put the fire in the, in the middle and then cook it slowly for about 45 minutes. And here's a recipe to simmer the meat in. First, we have soy sauce. We're gonna put one cup of soy sauce, half a cup of rice wine or just white wine, and half a cup of brown sugar, or it could be any sugar, and one third cup of barley malt syrup. You could also substitute barley malt syrup with honey and some peppercorns. Okay, here is the mixture. Now we're gonna put this into the pot and you want to simmer it for about an hour and then you want to taste it and you could add more if you need to. Okay, it's been an hour now and now we're gonna add some carrots and lots of onions. There's five onions and there's lots of carrot. At this point you want to taste it. Wow! That's really good. Okay, now we've been cooking it for about two hours. Now we're gonna leave the lid open and then we're gonna cook it for another 45 minutes or so for the sauce to go really into the meat. That looks really good. I wanna taste it. Woo! That is really fantastic. It's been 45 minutes and we're gonna let it simmer 30 more minutes. It took us about four hours, but this smells really, really good. I tell you, this is not gonna last very long. We're gonna eat it pretty quick. Now you could shred the meat and use it as a sloppy joe, or you could make it into a sandwich, or into a soft taco, hot taco. And tonight we're gonna put this in a Vietnamese rice roll, and it's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be great dinner tonight. And tomorrow is the bear hunt, and my wife is going to make me tanga kimpa, which is triangle rice roll, which is awesome meat. And tonight we are having tortilla wrap with a venison, salsa, hot spicy pea, avocado, cheese, and some mushrooms. And it's going to get wrapped in there. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>